Warning! The following is a parody of El Toro Ryan's Coaster to Eat series. If you are unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first, because without credit equals ripoff, right? On top of that, the vlog may include clips from shows that are for mature audiences, so viewer discretion is advised. Now with all that said, let's get into the vlog. Top of the day, fellow enthusiasts, it is Sky Guy here, and we have made it to King's Island. With Anne, I am here with, with all those people here that you've seen on the Instagram. Oh, this, this is a park that will be celebrating its 50th anniversary. And of course, it sure is a must-do park in America if you're a coaster enthusiast for that milestone. I feel really, I feel proud for Kings Island, but let's, let's, let's go inside and see the front gate and see what it's all about. Man, that Eiffel Tower is, it, along with that, that con, very nice greeting, indeed. So we first we are going to head up to Flight of Fear before before the line get gets really long for this ride, and then um and then Orion next. So I have done the one at King's Dominion, Flight of Fear. So I don't really have much expectations for um for the other one. But Orion will be my third Giga Coaster. So um, I'm, I'm really excited to try those two out first. And as you can tell, as you may see, I have my own shirt. Hey guys, it is Sky Guy R12 Turn. Sorry to interrupt the vlog, but I would like to tell you that as you know, so far in this vlog, I am at a complete loss of words in here. Yeah, Discord pings. Just like, just like right now, I I could be repeating some some other other words that you could be thinking. Uh, and that and I wanted to tell you that that's something you're probably going to be seeing for the entire vlog. I really don't feel like go like making a text but loss of words edit for like every time I'm at a loss of words. So yeah, just wanted to let you know it's my my bad. So, thank you very much for understanding, and let's get back into the vlog. Yep. I decide before this trip, I decided to make my own my own shirt for for the trip, which is absolutely amazing. So, let's get right ahead and get things started. You have sufficient data now to answer my questions. I just got off of Flight of Fear and Orion here, and for Flight of Fear, I think I think it it is definitely I think it's better than the one at King's Dominion. Yeah, it's just just basically your Flight of Fear at at that park. Um, it's not smooth. I will give it that. But Orion, oh, man, Orion. Oh, three words, overrated as hell. What? Yep, I said it. <laughs> to the point, Orion is just, is just, I can't believe how overrated that coaster is. It is, it is, first off, Worst name ever on a roller coaster. It's pretty. It the layout feels like it's missing something, and just the flaws with this coaster, they really they really hit hard. Bruh. Well, mostly the name. I just I just could sue Kings Island for the name. Ah! But um, next up, Backlot Stunt Coaster. So I'll see you. So I'll see you when I get off. I just got off of Backlot Stunt Coaster, the one at Kings Island, and unlike the one at Kings Dominion, the 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 effects were actually working. So, but 
I actually prefer Cakes and Minions Backlot Sun Coaster to their Flight of Fear. And maybe I could say the same. I definitely think Kings Island's post Backlot Sun Coaster is better than Cakes and Minions. But so next up, the ride that I want to hit is one of their top three right over there. Diamondback, Beast, Mystic Timbers. This is where the real fun starts. So I'll see you when we get off to one of those rides. I just got off of Diamondback. This amazing BM Hyper. Yeah, I said it. It is indeed amazing. I expected this to be to be the best BM Hyper in America and Let me just say, this was Diamondback was amazing. I think this is this this is going to be the best ride in the park when I by the time I've ridden all the coasters. But we'll see. We'll find soon find out what Mystic Timbers, Banshee, and the Beasts are like. But for now, I'm all for Diamondback. So let's see what coaster we're going to hit next. Man, I just got off of the beast. My expectations, I think they have been blown away. Like, what? I mean, don't get me wrong. I did expect the beast to be a very long coaster, but I think I, it was actually running really, actually running faster. But um, it was, it was kind of bumpy. But not kind of, not really such a painful kind of bumpy. It was the beast. Uh, I don't think it's 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 as good as Diamondback, but um, it is definitely a must do when you visit Kings Island. As always, such a huge Kings Island classic. So um, I don't we don't know what we're gonna do next. The guys are talking about talk, are talking about it, but we'll find out. But all I can say. The beast was like, <laughs> I have no idea. I, maybe I'll take, maybe I'll uh, make a review about, about the beast soon. But, but for now, I, we're going to do something else. Oh yeah. I can't forget about night rides. Well, I'll make sure that I, that I convince, convince the party to, to go on the beast in the front row at night. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, after the bat, we did Banshee. We did Banshee next, and um, it was my seventh B and M invert. And those who say it has a rattle sure are right. I did find there to be a rattle on Banshee, but I am O. It doesn't take away from the ride. I um, I do think um, oh yeah, the drop. That drop is, is spectacular. That. That's a drop, that's definitely my favorite drop on a B&M invert. But, um, overall, really, really great ride. I mean, actually, awesome ride. But, next up, we're going, we're going to do Invertigo, right over here. But, currently, we're waiting for, we're waiting for someone here. But, well, but we still have time. So, I'll see you when I get off of Invertigo. After me, after we decided to finish eating, I actually decided to stop by to ride Woodstock Express, which I got the credit on, and but it was mainly due to the girls having to find a restroom here. However, um, so I did ride Woodstock Express, and compared to the one at King's Dominion, I think it was, um, I, I think that was better. Actually, make that faster. Definitely a faster Woodstock Express, but um, it was, um, I don't think it's better than the other family coaster in Ohio, looking at you, Sea Dragon at Columbus Zoo, but um, this was definitely a great fit for, for the Peanuts area. By the time I ride all the coasters, I think Woodstock Express may be the best coaster in that air, in the Peanuts area. So we, next up, 
We're gonna stop by and check out the bat. I hope it's open for us. Fingers crossed. Pray to Jesus. If not, in the shadows of falling darkness, wings of the night creature. I just got off of my second aero suspended coaster, the bat. And um this is this is to way better than Iron Dragon, I gotta say. But uh, um it's raining, it's raining again, but it's like very slight and super light rain, so it's not that big of a deal. I'll get my hat uh once I get off this get out of this queue. But uh this 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 queue is like so long for, for the bat. Like it's so it's like so secluded from from Kings Island. Oh, um, we don't know what ride we're going to hit next, but I believe we're gonna do we we're we're, gonna, we're most likely gonna do Banshee next. But if not, then in Vertigo. I I don't know anymore, but we'll see you when I get off of the next ride. Okay. We decided to skip in Vertigo because we we actually thought that the ride that the ride was like, like being down for a moment. So the next thing that we then rode Adventure Express and then and then the blue side of Racer. The red side of Racer is closed right now. Oh. For some reason, Kings Island says that Racer is closed according to their website. But I got to ride it and I think this is better than Racer 75. I tell you. So about Adventure Express, it was my fifth Arrow Mine Train, and that that coaster, that coaster was more aggressive than I thought. It was actually, it actually threw me around out a few times. It's definitely better than Jalonga Mine Train and Trailblazer. I don't know about Cedar Creek Mine Ride, but uh, yeah, the. But regardless, Adventure Express, I think it's a, um, I think it's an okay ride at least. So, we don't know what we're gonna do next. Alright, I got off of the the Kings Island and Miami uh, River, something like that, with that train. Ah! And um, after the train ride, that it was like we stopped by. For some reason, we stopped by at at the uh, at the park's water park. Well, let's not get too in depth. Now, after that, I rode Mystic Timbers again in the back row. And let me just say. This is my new number two wooden roller coaster. Sorry, Phoenix. Ah! Mystic Timbers in the back row is, is like really good. Like really good. Absolute, no, it's amazing. Absolutely, just amazing. I don't want to make it too much, but um, like, I, I don't have, I don't know if I have anything else to say. So, what what we decided the X is now unknown, but we'll, but we're thinking about it. So I'll see you wherever we are. 
Okay, um, here I am at the brew house. We are currently there for dinner right now, and apologies that I could not uh, show you show you myself eating something. So I had a burger with tater tots and my drink over here, and um, hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. What? The oh, and you. Oh, bless you. Thank you. And um, it was it was average but not the, I mean the tater tots, but not the cheeseburger. I enjoyed it more. Hey, Laura. Yeah, I like the tater tot tower. This, this girl here makes Okay, I just, sorry that I had to cut the video. We are back out of the brew house. I, things got a little awkward and, and I tried to find, find something else to say, but I just couldn't, but my mind went blank, so, uh, here we are at, in the Planet Snoopy area, and, and Rayleigh and Hannah here want to get on a water ride, but but I want to get a back row ride on Diamondback to see if it's warmed up since my last ride, but I I don't want to be selfish, so I'm gonna do so. We're gonna try and do what they ask. We don't want to go on the water. Oh wait, what? We're not in the Woodstock ride. Yeah. Woodstock glider. Okay. What? The helicopter one. Helicopters. Okay, helicopters. Alright, so what we did next was to get on Woodstock's Whirly Birds, and then I got off of my 123rd credit Flying Ace Aerial Chase. Now Woodstock's Whirly Birds, that was that was Although it's not my type of ride, and neither is this one, by the way, it was it was definitely a good ride for the kids. I'll say that. Overall, Woodstock Twirly Birds was okay, and I thought, and we did flying a serial chase. I thought that those who say that you get head bang to say that it is not a smooth coaster, even for a family coaster, they are right. I. <clears throat> There was like a lot of jitters on this coaster, as well as I also felt a rattle there. So my head did not really touch those over the shoulder restraints. It was still, eh, I don't, now I don't think this is better than Cedar Point's Woodstock Express. But, um, but you know what time it is. Let's go to the Eiffel Tower and get some pictures. Okay, so after, after, so when I got onto, onto the Eiffel Tower, I, I started taking like a lot of pics that you will soon find out there on Instagram. And also, um, we, me and the employee who worked at the elevator started talking about none other than my good friend. And then, and now we are starting to wrap up the day with trying to get trying to get a final snack before we head back to the hotel to end day one out of two here at King's Island which is a shame for me because mm, I'm not allowed not really allowed to just to, to go myself alone even with permission which which is which means I most likely will not be getting any King's Island night rides but, um, but it's going to be fine so Guess I'll see you at the hotel. Later. Well, here I am at the hotel here. So that concludes day one of Kings Island. Will I be getting Kings Island night rides? Will I be getting on the Great Pumpkin Coaster or in Vertigo? Well, stay tuned for the second day of, of Kings Island. So if you enjoyed this vlog, I would like to thank you very much for watching. And if you like it, please consider giving it a like and you consider subscribing because why wouldn't you? This channel has an ultimate goal after all, and that is to get to 100,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to check out my Roblox and follow me on Instagram. And, and that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all at day two. Apologies, just one more thing before I go. 
This was a vlog that I filmed months before I made the comment shout out program. This is where I take three comments from my last major video and read them out. These comments come from my top 10 mill favorite roller coasters I've ever ridden. Hershey Park YouTuber Connects and Hershey said, let's go. Also, Talon is epic. Coaster YouTuber Backrow Coasters said, this is really creative. Also, I'm really happy you're back. And finally, he also said, do you want to do a collab sometime? I would love to, Backrow Coasters. If you want to see your word in my next video, leave a comment down below and it may be selected. All right, now back to the outro, for real.